Happy Friday and welcome to the week, your source for news you don't need. It's Friday the 13th. Ooh. Okay, okay. So a video has been making its way around the internet and we are absolutely loving it. The Voice is one of the most popular television shows around the world. Contestants sing and judges can choose to support them and there's a winner and blah 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 blah. But this week on the Russian version, there was a very special guest. <laughs> Now, we're not sure if this video is real. We've been unable to determine if this is a genuine video of Russian President Vladimir Putin singing on the show. Regardless, we love it. Though, we've got to be honest, this wasn't our favorite performance of Putin's. About a month ago, we were enthralled by this video, one that shows off Putin's incredible dancing skills. I'm sick of it, I'm sick of it. video is amazing. Moving around the world, a research team at Emory University in the U.S. city of Atlanta published results of a survey this week that may leave some people scratching their sacks, and that means testicle sacks. The study, published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, or PNAS, measured the testicles of 70 married men with young children. It found that men with smaller testicles tend to have a more active role in parenting, while men with big balls well, just acted like normal men. So good news for men with small balls. Doctors found that compared to men with huge nuts, small ball guys are better, more involved fathers. As many experts have pointed out, the findings really make a lot of sense. Chimpanzees, for example, have very large testicles, so they have lots of sex partners and don't really care for their kids. Gorillas are the exact opposite, and humans are right in the middle. But if you took these results and tried to verify them using the internet, I'd begin to think that humans actually have very large testicles. Because, let's face it, there are some really poor dads out there. Moving away from testicles, let's go to international news. The 2020 Olympic Games are definitely not in Tokyo because they're in Istanbul. Oh wait, no, hold on, nope, they're in Tokyo. Oh, hold on, let me check. Yes, yes, they are in Tokyo. The International Olympic Committee awarded Tokyo the chance to host the 2020 Summer Games, but not before some of China's biggest media outlets incorrectly reported the committee's decision. What other kinds of fails can we look forward to in Tokyo? <laughs> No, no, it was okay. no, he's okay. No, oh, that is very nasty. No, it's not Martin. Those are hilarious, but we're just kidding. The Olympics are arguably the worst time to fail. Our best wishes go out to all the international athletes and to the host city, Tokyo, in 2020. Now, let's hope I don't screw up as we read this week's Best Odd News. So here they are in 30 seconds. Former NBA star Dennis Rodman gave a Justin Bieber-like speech and said his life isn't a joke. He then followed up that comment by saying he'd be taking 12 former NBA players to a tournament in the homeland of his best friend, Kim Jong-un. Miley Cyrus, the former childhood star who seems to be going down the drain as pop musician, released her new hit music video this week featuring images of her licking a hammer. It's time to fear for the future of music. A 13-year-old girl is forced by her parents to hold a sign in public to shame her for the offensive twerking dance she did at a high school. Either we're in the 17th century or the mom who made her do that has some huge testicles. That's our show this week. Hope you enjoyed this week's Best Viral video. See you next time. What does the fox say? Yeah,